Oh, here it is. Here it is, Mayor. <laughs> uh, good evening, everybody, and I want to welcome you to the August 14th uh, meeting of the Board of Mayor and Aldermen, and we're going to begin with an invocation, and then I'll lead the Pledge of Allegiance, and so if you'll join me in standing, I'm going to ask Alderman Barnhill if you would lead us in this invocation. Well, please. <coughs> Heavenly Father, we come to you in prayer Thank you for this community and for this great nation that we live in, for all the freedoms that we enjoy. We give you the thanks for these. We also ask your blessings upon all the people and all the service members who uh, protect these freedoms, whether they are here in the United States or whether they are abroad. We know that there are hardships there. We know that there are hardships on the families. We also ask that you be with each of us at Alderman. Help us make decisions that are guide the city in the right direction. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Are there any citizen comments tonight on items not on the agenda? Seeing none, we'll move on to communications from the Williamson County Commission. I don't see anyone here, and then we'll go on to the minutes of uh, June 26, 2018 work session and Board of Mayor and Alderman meeting and the July 10th work session and Board of Mayor and Alderman meeting. Move for approval. Second. Uh, motion by Alderman Peterson, second by Alderman Berger. Any discussion? Ready to vote? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes <coughs> unanimously. Are there any recognitions or miscellaneous reports tonight? Oh, we're going to have the... Uh, Walk, the special oh, walk yes. Friday. Friday. Yeah, would you like to talk, talk about that? <laughs> well, you're the one that brought it up. Um, Friday, we will have a ribbon cutting on our newest sidewalk project, Highway 96 East, that will start, I believe, at Mac Hatcher with a walk with the mayor. Yes, if, if you'd like to join the walk at 10 o'clock, it'll be uh, right um, by the Buckingham uh, neighborhood across from Church of the City. Um, I think folks can park at Church, Church of the City if they need to, right? So you can go there, park, and walk down with the group. Uh, I think the mayor will be leading that, and we're also tying it into the Get Fit Franklin Initiative that uh, Franklin Tomorrow has been working on, uh, and make our way down to Pinkerton Park and cut the ribbon there. We estimate around 1030. So. And there will be a shuttle to take you back to your car, I yes. understand. Yes. Great. Good report. We look forward to having everybody there. and. Uh, it'll I think we may even walk in the rain if it's raining. So. We're tough. Yeah, we'll have one. Okay. Yeah. City of Franklin. Cool, cool. <laughs> okay, uh, we're ready to move on to the consent agenda. All right. And uh, items uh, 17 or 23 are on the consent agenda tonight, and they're considered to be non-controversial, routine in nature. And uh, Alderman Vice Mayor, I recognize you. All right, I move that we accept the consent agenda items with the exception of item 21, which I would like to remove to them. Okay, appropriate motion. Second. Seconded by Alderman Berger. Any discussion? Uh, those that look puzzled, uh, that, that item will be withdrawn. So that's the reason. Um, ready to vote, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. We're now at item number three, which is public hearing consideration ordinance 2018-34 to be entitled an ordinance authorizing certain incentives be provided to the Franklin Housing Authority in support to developing a 48 unit multifamily senior housing complex on Chickasaw Place. Uh, I have uh, two speaker cards. I have Derwin Jackson and Ronald Crutcher. We'll allow you two minutes each. City staff. Um, I've, I've spoken with most of you about this project. I mean, it's a single project at Chickasaw Place. It's for a 48 unit uh, development for seniors 60 years old and older. Uh, we are, uh, we've, it's a tax credit property. We've, our investors are JP Morgan. They'll be down next week to also to visit the city in, in this project. But 
Uh, they're gonna, you know, they, they invest in over $9 million in it. It's an $11 million project. We're about a $2 million gap. So part of that, we're, we're here tonight to, to ask the city to whatever consideration that you can give us to uh, provide some assistance here. And I just want to just end by saying that I, you know, the city has supported the Franklin Health Authority and our projects, and I, I want to thank you for that and continue. And I know that uh, the mayor and this board have, uh, have supported affordable housing in the city. So you know, that is just something that I, I want to say up front, that we do appreciate what you've already done for us. Uh, but we do uh, ask for some assistance to continue to for this project to go on, and I thank you for that. I'm Ronald Crutcher, live on Adam Street. Uh, I am for this ordinance. Uh, time has come to put some of my tax money. Uh, from a general fund into affordable housing. This is a good place to start. This is housing for those uh, people that have made Franklin what it is. They deserve an adequate place to live in their twilight years. I'm on the board of the housing fund in Nashville. Uh, we loan money to uh, affordable housing, uh, neighborhood redevelopment. We've loaned money to Habitat to buy land uh, in the western part of the county for subdivisions. In a recent uh, meeting of a would be if it comes comes about major project here in Franklin. Uh, we're meeting with five or six banks that have local branches here, and the question came up: uh, What is Franklin doing? And if you pass this ordinance. I will have an answer or they will have an answer to give uh, to them. Uh, I appreciate as somebody that's worked on housing for many years around here, I appreciate what seems to be the new uh, leaning towards housing. We're seeing some of the things come about that we had predicted, uh, no places for the workers to live. Uh, but we're there, and this is a good opportunity to get housing for some people that need it and also to show that Franklin is sincere in uh, working towards affordable housing, and I thank you. I now declare the public hearing closed and would entertain a motion. I recognize Alderman Bransford. I move to approve with an amendment, please. Um, my amendment is to um, have ordinance 2018-34 delete paragraph number three and number four as they relate to appropriating funds to offset road and parkland impact fees and request that the city staff work with the housing commission to draft an incentive program for consideration for entities, yes, entities that leverage federal tax credits and grants who develop affordable housing. So working with the, let me stop, let's get a second. Second. Appropriate motion, second. Um, Open for discussion, continue on. And well, this will allow the Housing Commission committee members to continue to work as you all and we all have done in the past, to come up with this incentive, how we do this. So I think this is a great opportunity to go to work tomorrow making this happen. Further discussion. The clarification sure. is, is yeah. that we're approving the pilot and we're approving the CDBG funds uh, that were mentioned, but we are not making a decision yet on uh, general fund money 
for this project, for if I understand your motion correctly. Right. Everything else is moving forward <coughs> except those two, and that will move forward based on the work that the Housing Commission do to make this incentive program. Saying the Housing Commission, you're not talking about specifically the Franklin Housing Authority. The, as a as a but, member, I think they will have their input mm -hmm. in that strongly. The city's housing commission. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So what now? The city's housing. The city right. Housing the city housing commission, not the Franklin, which is the Franklin Housing Authority, is a member right, of. Exactly. And this exactly. will give everybody a chance to be around the table to make this because you know I'm sure there'll be other entities that will be looking for these same types of. Uh, yeah. Program. So if we can, if you all, you all, we all can create a program that would be beneficial to all, then that would be great. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's very doable. We just got to do it. All in burger. Bit. And so that program would address how we would be paying for that. When you Where are receiving come from. tax credits or grants. Or grants. For individuals Good who idea. are building affordable housing. Mm -hmm. Great idea. Um, and, and when do we, when would we want to move forward on that as quickly as possible? I would think so. All right. Thanks. Well, sure. I think if, if it's my understanding, if I can clarify that yeah. they need the pilot and the CDBG yes, funds right now. approved now so they can continue right. to move right. forward and then uh, we'll be considering uh, the other portion possible. later. Mm -hmm. And for some clarification, mm -hmm. Alderman Bransford made a motion that was you know, I understood her to make a motion, not really an amendment. Yeah, so all we need is a second and a vote. I, I mean, we have a second yep. and a discussion. Now all we need is a vote. Yep. So any other comments? Yep. Go ahead. I'm not at all comfortable in tying what the two together. We sit here and, 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 and the Franklin Housing Authority has asked for certain considerations, and we've, we've looked at that. I mean, there's, there's tap fees out there that, that is possible you can look at and we're now tying if I understood that correctly we're not tying it well maybe we, maybe I'm not we're now broadening that to where it's in where the Franklin Housing Commission which is uh, all the nonprofits that all, all four not just the Franklin Housing Authority uh, I think what we're looking I for them to do is develop some type of policy, policy yeah. uh, for us going forward <laughs> to help us determine who might, if we made the decision to mm -hmm. uh, award general fund money to a project to pay, to reimburse for uh, impact yeah. fees or park impact fees, uh, that we would have a policy that clarifies how we would do that and uh, who would be appropriate to do that. Mr. Mayor? Let, let me, I'm, I'm looking at yeah, all. Yeah. No, that's, no, that's, yeah. I'm just going, mm -hmm. well, I'm going to mull a little bit. Okay, yeah. Alderman uh, Berger. So, so in other words, rather than the, the, the two components that we're moving ahead <coughs> with tonight yeah. is one thing, but right. this component is being pulled to look at it so we could have, like the mayor said, a policy. Yes. Because other entities may come to us and we just don't want to make one decision on one entity tonight. We want to make a policy of it and look at the grants and, and the other sources of, of revenue. So I'm, I'm good with that. Thank you. Um, I'm not. And I think that we can deal with those situations individually as they come on board. That's, this is what we've got a request for tonight. And I, uh, I think that what we're doing, I also think what we're doing needs to be a much broader discussion mm -hmm. than sitting here tonight and mm -hmm. having an amendment uh, suddenly made on an item that's on mm -hmm. the agenda that's on the voting that's on second or three readings on top of that I think that we I, I, I'm not comfortable in in making the amendment I'm comfortable with the original motion as it is here but I'm not comfortable in making and accepting the amendment so you know I, I'm gonna Mm -hmm. What that does, what that does is stick you to where you're actually, if you vote against the amendment, you're actually voting against the ordinance itself. That's not what mm -hmm. we're, uh, that's not what I want to do. I want to vote against the amendment, but not against the original ordinance. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not sure that we even did that correctly. Yeah. Okay. 
All right. She can make that. I move to Understood. approve with the with an amendment. Yeah. Right. And then I read the amendment. Well, and I think you you can move you can move to approve to the approve ordinance, the, uh -huh. and then you can come back and uh, and mm. make a motion to amend. And then you would vote on the amendment, and the amendment could be voted up or down. And then you would vote on the original motion. Yep, that's, that's what we can do. That's we can vote on the amendment. No, I, my understanding was that she. Mm -hmm made a motion that included that amendment yeah. and so therefore we could vote directly on that motion that that she made which uh, mm -hmm. she amended she didn't do a separate amendment mm -hmm. right but so you want to clarify make the record clear if you could <coughs> you could make a motion and then make the motion then make the amendment if he wanted to vote only on the one part okay. But she's made a legitimate motion. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. It was a motion to okay. approve, to to, but to delete ways. three and four. Yeah. Alderman Berger? I think we need to vote on it as Pearl, as you have yeah, stated Pearl. it, because you stated it with that amendment attached to it. It was the second. Here's why I think this is really important. And, and Clyde, I, I respect your opinion on this, but at the same time, I do believe that we need to move these people forward. They need to get going. They sure. need CBG money. They need... The, the two items that we mm -hmm. okay. have have before us. Okay. What I think we need is we do need a policy because they're not the only entity that's going to come before us. And I, I don't think it's wise to vote on this as a whole and not have a policy before us. I think that's quite clear that we really do need to look at that because we need to be fair to all entities who come before us. and. And it, as Alderman Bransford said, there are grants out there. We need to be looking at those. And we need to be establishing a clear policy so that we can truly help the entities that come before us. That's why I will support this tonight, as is. Alderman Peterson. I, 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 though I can understand, there is a difference between the Franklin Housing Authority and any of the other yeah. nonprofits. Nonprofits, yes. Yeah. And so that's the reason this, this Taking it as amended really kind of puts it all in together when some of us might <coughs> think that it should be, that that should be done separately. Developing the policy should be done separate from, the amend, from this particular motion here. It should be done separate. The way it's tied in now, mm -hmm. we have to go forward with it, but it's not being done separate. All I'm saying is, is that if you made the motion to approve this, you get the second. Then you come in and say, I would like to amend the motion, and the, you can vote on the amendment. If the amendment passes, then you would vote on the original motion as amended. If it does not, then you would vote on the original motion not amended. But I don't think that we want to tie in the policy of th this broad policy that we're looking at right here into this particular motion and, and because I'm perfectly satisfied in the Franklin Housing Authority going forward. I mean, I've said that and I'm not trying to put a stopper on that. I'd like to see that go forward. But I want more discussion on the other before we set a, set a policy in place or an attempt to set a policy in place. I want more discussion on that. So it would be my understanding that the policy would come back to us at a future time mm -hmm. as a recommendation from the Housing Commission for us to be True. to consider. Yep. Uh, we, we want the, yeah, Mr. Mayor, we want the entities that will be requesting these types of funds from our general fund, which is entities such as Franklin Housing, mm -hmm. Hard Bargain Association, all those different nonprofits that provide affordable housing in our community. If they can come up with this incentive plan program that will allow these dollars to flow from general funds to take care of those road impact <coughs> in parkland fees. Um, because it will require the whole group of individuals and providers and developers to be able to be on the same page. Otherwise, we will be picking and choosing mm -hmm. which ones Get, get the general fund funding passed through and which ones will not. At the end, they will be providing similar types of uh, 
of housing. That's not totally true. You can develop the policy after at any time, at any workshop, at any time, at any open discussion without tying it in to the Franklin Housing Authority's needs tonight. You can develop that policy, you can make that policy whatever you want it to it, but it does not need to be tied in to the Franklin Housing Authority. We, it need, that needs to be dealt with separately. We're looking at, at that project going forward. They've got a plan. They've got 48 senior citizen units that they're ready to build. They've got a $2 million short shortfall. They need to make up some of that money. What we have tied, what you have done is tie on some future needs from some organization out there, which is a nonprofit, which we probably support anyway uh, through our appropriations. I'm not sure that they're on there, but they, that's, that, that's just not, that's just not the way to handle this situation right here. Um, I'm on a, I, I don't, I, you know, well, I don't want to say to you guys that I'm not going to vote for it because I'm for it, but I, I don't think I'm going to support this thing the way Pearl has done what she's mm -hmm. done on that, okay? Understand that. That does right. not call mean call any, what, we, we need to move on, call Mr. Mayor. In any shape, form, or fashion. We got to call the question. Yeah. Well, okay, the that's fine. Is there a second? I called the question. Need a second. Second. All favor calling the question? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. 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 Uh, show of hands who said no. That looks like five said, so we'll continue the discussion. Okay. All well, the, the vice mayor. All right. If I'm, if I'm correct, what Pearl is saying is we are trying to give this organization what they need tonight but if i come in tomorrow and i say i want the same thing you can't give it to me because we don't have a policy in this motion that she's made the policy is to come we have to discuss the policy that will open up the ability for us to do it for an for me next week if i if i qualify but what Pearl is saying is tonight we are trying to get this business taken care of with the future policy to come after discussion. And without that, if I come in tomorrow and say you gave it to them tonight, you have to give it to me tomorrow. Well, isn't that what's going to happen tomorrow anyway? No, absolutely yeah, yeah, not. Yeah. Because there's no policy. Mm -hmm. This is an arm of the city right here. Absolutely. This is an arm of the city, and we have a right. We have a right to support them any way we can, any way we choose. Mm -hmm. But I might come in tomorrow and you with something else, and I say, "But you gave it to these people Tuesday night. I want the same thing for my development tomorrow, and I, you, I, but you don't have to give it to me." Well, you don't Mayor, have to I'm on the that the that the commission will be able to put their minds together and come up with this incentive program for us to approve. We need to give the housing, our Franklin Housing Commission members, the ones that we have appointed and approved to serve, to go and do this work and bring it back to us so we can have a document for no matter who comes before us requesting this and they meet those federal tax credit and grant uh, opportunities, then we will be able to fit them into this program of moving money from general funds to take care of several of these impact fees. So if you think that they can't do it, then that's another problem. Well, well let All me ask Peterson. you this. Does not the mayor appoint every person to the Franklin Housing Authority? Yes. Mm -hmm. Housing Commission. No, no, and, and the Housing and Authority, housing authority. And, and fifth, for 50 years, no. the, the mayor has appointed every every member of the Housing Authority. Mm. And that's what we're talking about right now. Well, what does that have to do with this? I don't know. <laughs> I was so confused. Well, let, let me tell you, if you're talking about the taxpayer money. You're talking about taking money out of the general fund. Out of the fund. general fund. That's why I want a policy. Well, yes, but let, let's 
let's do, let's do this for them. On it. That's let's, right. let's do this. I mean, what we're talking about, and then it's important. at some point, we could talk about a policy Setting for a policy. everyone. That's, That's all right. I'm saying. I, I understand what. You discuss so, the policy separate. May, from all may I that. ask a question here? So, <laughs> can I cl clarify? Yeah. So, Clyde, are you asking to just totally take out the policy and just vote on the two items? Well, I'm not asking to kick out the policy because the policy is not even in yet. True. I'm asking to vote on the on the ordinance on the um, ordinance as it's written <coughs> given that what the what we've in there to the franklin housing authority if we want to set a policy for future mm -hmm. uh disbursement of money out of the general fund into other agencies that's that's fine i have no problem with that we set up the policy then but set the policy don't put the two together but but if you vote um the question is then if we vote as is without that amendment in there you are giving that money to them without a policy you're giving one dollar you're one dollar it's written as one dollar in each impact well th but yeah. does this does this uh, uh Do we as amended back? change that this removes item three and four yeah, that's right it says we're going to make a decision about that later based okay, on a policy great. that is is given to you that you approve you know, it could be and more then than what you what you do That's grant like is the first two items, yeah. sure. which seem to be non-controversial. Right. One hundred fifty thousand out of future CDBG funds and the pilot arrangement. That's similar to what they have on other other That's units. Exactly. But, but gives you a policy framework about this yeah. and any future offsets to road impact and parkland We're impact fees. That. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's how I understand the motion. Is that correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have a question then. Do, do, do all the others have a pilot payment in lieu of? I don't know what all the others are. The other uh, The other three nonprofits. nonprofits. No, they don't. Exactly. They're different entities. So this is a totally different entity from, because as I say, it does have that payment. Let me, in let me put it to you this way. Yeah. We've had inquiries that say, sure. if you're going to do it for them, why don't you do it for us? Well, so given those inquiries that are out there, I think the sense was it makes sense to develop more of a policy so that it doesn't become some form of an entitlement that if you're doing any kind of thing you can define as affordable housing, they get the exact same allocation of, of impact fees. Yep. So if you, if you want to do something on impact fees, it would seem to make sense to have a broader policy to guide it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you may be inadvertently making policy tonight. Unless you just say you're going to differentiate uh, the housing authority from everybody else. Well. That in, it, in itself is policy as well. Mm -hmm. So the thought is instead of a, taking it case by case where others will interpret your policy for you, have the housing authority assist you in giving you input and then you ultimately set a policy that can help you make those differentiations among the type of housing and the type of programs, whether low income tax credits is a a differentiating factor there there are a number of different ways you can look at this and and there are some complexities to it and that's why it seemed to make sense to pull this off and do some broader policy work before you grant it unless your decision is you don't want to ever give or at this point don't want to give impact fee offsets well well here, here's the thing though this entity is different from the other nonprofits because they are getting a payment in lieu of taxes and the others are not. Yeah. And that, so, that certainly can be part of your policy. So, yeah. Well, we don't know because we can't get there. Well, yeah. the thing is, we can <clears throat> we can complete we can give them what they're requesting. Yes. And then bring back this other up. So are you pro, are you proposing the seven hundred thousand dollar grant? It, it's not in there. It's, it's not, not in it's there. It's on $1. Okay, that's what I'm not sure what you're... Because <laughs> yeah. they ask for something different than is in your existing right. ordinance. I understand that. Okay, okay. What's in the motion is $1 from the general fund. So if we were to go back to the original motion, they would receive the two opportunities that we mentioned earlier plus $1. So if you want oh, yeah. that... That's what we would be voted on. No, you said you d d d delete three and four. Right. So that means there, there's nothing that's been yeah. decided about. That's right. the amendment. Mm. That's the amendment. If there's questions about the amendment. Are you ready to vote? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know what we're voting on. Are we voting? Do you want to repeat the motion? I, I would be glad to, to repeat the motion. All right. Okay. 
Um, I move to accept the, the motion with an, with an amendment. Mm -hmm. And I will read the amendment. Uh, delete paragraph number three and four as they relate to appropriating funds to offset the road and parkland impact fees and request that the city staff work with the Housing Commission to draft an incentive program for consideration for entities that leverage federal tax credits and grants who develop affordable housing. Is that clear yep. mud? And, that, and that's what I seconded. Yep. Right. Now I'm ready to go. Okay. I'll Any other comments or uh, Alderman? Uh, I mean, I'm no to do. Yeah. Any hard. other comments? No. Ready to vote? Yeah. Oh, did you? Okay. We didn't vote on yes. The other vote was about the uh, calling the question. It was the invitation. Okay. So you didn't answer it. Yeah. No other comments. We're ready to vote. All in favor say aye. 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 As the as motion is proposed as and amended. amended, it's one thing. It's one motion. Yeah. Let's take it again. <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 I'll vote for it. No. Opposed. Okay. Passes uh, six to two. Okay. Item number four. Consideration of City of Franklin Contract 2018-0087 Agreement with the Jones Company of Tennessee LLC for reimbursement <coughs> of cost in the amount of $11,640 for the sanitary sewer collection system improvements in the area of Ladd Park sections 32, 34, and 37. Is there a motion? So moved. Move. Second. Se uh, appropriate motion by Vice Mayor, seconded by uh, Alderman McClendon. Any discussion? Ready to vote? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Item number five, consideration professional services agreement, City of Franklin contract 2018-0143 with CDM Smith Incorporated for construction administration inspection services for the water reclamation facility upgrades project in the amount of $11,677,396. Is there a motion? Move approval. Second. Appropriate motion, seconded by Alderman Berger. Any discussion? This is an addition to the contract, right? Mm -hmm. The contract owner. Right? Yeah, this is the construction administration and oversight by the design engineer, as well as the, um, the ramp up, the startup of the plant as, as well. If you mean addition to the 132 in million. Exactly. construction yes, contract. Yes, this is an addition. Any discussion? I guess my one question would be that is, he would, in their past experience with these large projects, is this, I guess, a similar oversight cost, engineering cost? The, this is very tip. This is well, we've never had a project quite this large, uh, but this is under nine percent uh, compared to the construction cost. Um, that's in the ballpark of what you would expect. Uh, it is uh, Qit themselves is a is a very large firm. They do a lot of these types of projects of this scale. I uh, have extensive experience, um, and, and I'm sure, certain, they have had this kind of oversight in every one of those projects, just the nature of it, that you connect the work that happened on the design and planning end to the implementation and construction of a project of, of this magnitude is, is best practice in the in industry. This is multi-year also. Yeah, this is estimated to be a three-and-a-half-year uh, uh, period. Awesome. Ready to vote? Can't wait. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Passes unanimously. Item 6, consideration <coughs> resolution 2018-61, entitled resolution to establish a grace period for mobile food vendors to operate temporarily through December 31st, 2018, or until the City of Franklin, <coughs> Board of Mayor, and Aldermen have adopted a comprehensive mobile food vending ordinance, whichever occurs first. Move for approval. Second. Seconded by Alderman Brant, uh, Blanton. Any discussion? Ready to vote? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Passes unanimous. Item 7, consideration ordinance 2018-29 to be entitled an ordinance to amend Chapter 9, Section 2, Section 9-2012 of the City of Franklin Municipal Code as it pertains to itinerant merchants and the removal of vehicles, trailers, kiosks, stands, tables, signage, furniture, and related ancillary equipment when not open for business. Is there a motion? 
Move for approval. Appropriate motion. Is there second. a second? Second by Alderman Bransford. Any discussion? Ready to vote? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Item 8, consideration of contract 2018-0100, River Bluff Homeowners Association, City of Franklin Easement Access Agreement. Is there a motion? Move for approval. Second. Appropriate motion by Alderman Speedy, second by Alderman Peterson. Any discussion? Ready to vote? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Passes unanimously. Item number nine is consideration ordinance 2018-31, an ordinance to reappoint uh, Deanna, Dina Hood as city judge for the city court of Franklin, Tennessee. Move for approval. Second. Second. Appropriate motion seconded by Alderman McClendon. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Item number 10, uh, consideration ordinance uh, 2018-37, an ordinance to amend Title 16, Chapter 14, and Appendix A of the City of Franklin Municipal because it pertains to <coughs> small wireless facilities in the right-of-way. Move for approval. Second with an amendment. Appropriate motion is second. Uh, what's your amendment? I move that we amend Ordinance 2018-0037 to add subsection H to section 16-1408 to read as follows. No application, fee, rate, and or approval is required for the installation, placement, maintenance, operation, or replacement of a micro wireless facility that is suspended on cables that are strung between existing PSSs in compliance with the National Electrical Safety Code as set out in TCA section 68-101-104. Second. <laughs> appropriate amendment and appropriate second. Is there any discussion about that? What Wayman's you, terms? You, I have no idea. Okay. You, we can't touch what's called microcells. It's per the law. We can't right. get into regulating it. So we're specifically excluding it from this. Uh, I'll, I, I feel like these people have great lobbyists, <laughs> and so they got an exemption that apply that to take them out of the regulation that applies to everyone else. Okay, you're ready to vote on the amendment. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Now let's vote on the entire motion. Any discussion on the entire motion is amended? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Passes unanimously. Item number 11 is consideration professional service agreement with Windrow Phillips Group to provide lobbying and advisory <laughs> services on behalf of the city of Franklin. Move for approval. Appropriate Second. motion by the vice mayor. Seconded by Alderman Bransford. <laughs> Ready to vote? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Item 12 is consideration resolution 2018-62, adopt the amended and restated pension plan effective January 1st, 2018, and adopt the first amendment to the amended and restated pension plan effective January 1st, 2018. Motion to approve. Second. Seconded by Alderman Speedy. Any discussion? Ready to vote? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. <coughs> Item number 13, consideration of liquor license issuance for an existing known store as Carruthers Wine and Spirits. Move for approval. Second. Second by Alderman uh, Berger. I was trying to recognize the voice. <laughs> uh, any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Passes unanimously. Uh, item number uh, 14, consideration of liquor license for Whole Bev LLC doing business as Holiday Cigars and Spirits. Uh, we would ask that a motion to move this to the 9-11 uh, Board of Mayor and Alderman meeting. So moved. Second. Second by Alderman Berger. Any discussion? Ready to vote? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Number 15 is the standard and associates contract for police to mark Department promotional testing. Move for approval. Appropriate motion. Second. Seconded by Alderman Blanton. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Item number 16, consideration of appointments to the Development Services Advisory Commission. Matt Bryant, Danny Anderson, Dwight Kaiser, Ryan McMaster, Scott Deaver, Kate Holliday, Bridget Parks, Alan Thompson, Nick Benneker, BOMA Representative Alderman Scott Speedy and City Administrator Appointment 
Michael Walters Young. Is there a motion? Move for approval. Second. Are they all standing out there? They I are. Yeah. I'm going to recognize them in just a minute. Who seconded Second. that? I did. Alderman Berger. So uh, if I read your name, please stand. <laughs> uh, I'll read it. I might, before we vote, I might just, yeah, y'all can sit down and relax. <laughs> Uh, I might just make a comment uh, uh, about um, the selection process. You know, we had over 30 applications uh, for these positions, and uh, I interviewed, interviewed uh, the bulk of those people that applied and uh, sat down with staff on two different occasions uh, before and after the interviews to discuss uh, who would be able to make the greatest contribution. And uh, I think everybody that applied could make great contributions, but this is a great group of people that are volunteering. Uh, I did not tell them that they would not be paid. Uh, so, uh, but maybe, uh, anyway, we're glad that you volunteered to do this. We appreciate your service, so. Thank you. Um, so. Come up and meet the alderman afterwards so that everybody knows who you are. So is you ready to vote? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Now we have item number 21, which is ordinance 2018-33 to be entitled ordinance to rezone or to zone 419 Murfreesboro Road into historic preservation overlay. Uh, they've asked to have this withdrawn. So I would entertain a motion to withdraw, accept the withdrawal of this item. Move for Approval to, to withdraw. withdraw. Seconded Second. by uh, Alderman and Blanton. Just with withdrawal, no future date. No future date. They just asked to we be withdrawn. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Passes <coughs> unanimously. Um, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Seconded by Alderman Berger. Motion was by Alderman Bransford. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Aye. 